Awesome. All right. All right, so let's start. Uh, my name is Chuck Beatty. I'm the help desk coordinator. I'm here to talk about uh, Google Storage. Uh, I'm also here with Mike Pisa, who is also in, uh, you want to introduce yourself, Mike? Here, they can see you if you come over here. Hey, right? I'm Mike Pisa. Um, I'm Associate Director for Infrastructure and Security in CTS. And we're just going to go over a few things. Um, I guess, you know, I'll jump right in a little bit. Uh, Google has is making, um, enforcing changes, I guess, on all higher education institutions um, that they do business with. I, I don't know if they're doing it to K through 12s or not, but I assume they, they might not be because most K through 12s were locked down. Traditionally, what has happened most um, higher education institutions, which have unlimited storage and capacities uh, to Google ended up in the long term. Um, I assume probably costing Google a lot of money because you have a lot of people who are, I'll just say, taking advantage of the situation. And I could actually give you, I'll, I'll just give you the, the, the one person once this came up a couple of months ago, we had uh, an alumnus who had 7.76 terabytes of data stored in their Google Drive. Um, well, if you take that across our site and then probably across the world with higher education, Google's not, you know, there's an overabundance of use and misuse and abuse. A lot of the accounts, um, I think, I think we had done a good job because we try to keep our accounts um, and who's active and keep our accounts to minimum, but there's a lot of campuses and colleges who don't. And, you know, there's a lot of misuse also, not even just overuse, but then there was abuse of accounts are compromised and they're used for sharing off. So, um, but what this sort of means to us is, is a campus is, you know, we've now got, a, we now have a quota um, as an institution. Uh, I will tell you up until five weeks ago, we were 12 terabytes over that quota. Um, we've been working um, with our alumni and our top users that were there and um, working with them and um, putting a quota on them individually and asking them to remove. And we will probably potentially, they'll, they'll either have a, a smaller quota or a small quota and or they'll lose access to drive. We're not 100% sure at this point. Our thought was, is, um, you know, our, our commitment to our alums were that they had an email account for life. Um, you know, abusing, misusing what a, a number of these people are doing as an issue. So that's to be determined, but we'll be rolling out. There's the top users have a quota. We'll be doing that to the other. We have, I want to say, probably approximately 4,000 alumni accounts right now that are active. It, it keeps growing, obviously. Well, it, comes, it keeps flowing. I've, I've been flowing as the year goes on, and some people know. But the idea behind this is starting to get a communication out um, to everybody to what things that you can do to help participate um, in, in helping the campus with this um, issue. Because if you're like me, which, you know, you, you got things, you stored things, you did it, it's out of sight, out of mind, all of a sudden you have all kinds of data out there stored. So what we're gonna do is give you um, a couple tips and tricks, but, um, you, know, you know, bottom line is you should be deleting data that you don't need. Um, or if you do need it, and if it's, you know, depending if it's archival or long distance, we might need to, you know, depending on the sizes of things and what the purpose is, it might be to move or trans transfer it somewhere else. Um, and, you know, we could have conversations about that as a, as a department. But then there's also, I'm sure, a lot of personal use uh, of things. And those things really need to, at this point, um, need, should be, and need to be moved to personal accounts. You know, our, our, our employee accounts are, intended for business of the, of, of the university um, and should have limited or no you know, personal personal information. Um, and we'll talk about some tools that you can do to, that you can do that once you go to the next. Did you want me to show a little bit on how to find it in uh, the help account? Or do you want to sure. do that afterwards? I, sure. Okay. So I just want to talk a little bit about, um, which I think is signing out. Let me exit that one, go back. So let me, okay, it's right here. 
So, so if you were looking at your account and you were trying to figure out, well, how do I know how much storage I'm using or between email and all that, if you can actually go down, I believe it's, it's at the bottom, isn't it? Just go to the other page and you can just show the likes. Oh, okay. Better there. All right. So I'll go back to that and share this. All right. And okay. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. So if you go to your uh, drive account, you can see here that uh, this is our help account. We actually currently are using 31 gigs of data. And you can see how it's splitting down between Google Drive, Gmail, and photos. Obviously, we don't do much with photos at all, but some people do. Some people just keep it in their drive. Um, so you get, a guess, you get a good idea where this data that you're using is being stored and where it might need to be managed. Uh, I will say that within Google Drive, if you have uh, Google Drive for desktop, some people put on um, downloads because they, they download some files and they're not aware of it and it might be stuff you no longer need. That might be a good place to look to. Um, so let me go back to- I was gonna go back to the PowerPoint if you yep. know. Yeah. So uh, to review any, uh, or delete any large uh, unnecessary files in Drive, you can go to this link here, which was kind of the one I was at, but you can kind of go through and if you sort it by how much you've used on the side, you can actually see like in here, do we need, really need uh, Mac OS? Yeah, probably not right now. So we could probably save ourselves like four gigs of what we have stored in our Google Drive. <laughs> but, you could, but you could also see what this also shows you is um like this is shared mm -hmm. now depending on where it's shared um whether it's shared in drive or it's shared in a shared folder they'll show up here if you put them there because every we'll get later shared drives are also counted against our quota all right but this potentially could be in a shared drive and you know taking up that now and that would you know if this is needed it'd be a best place to have it and not have it five times in five different people's you know drive folders but you know you could see that because there might be old things in shared drives too. Mm -hmm. So you know, literally, you're trying to do say if you don't recognize it, you don't need it. You know, please, obviously, it's easy enough to trash things. So um, you know, that's you know part part of how you can help participate in that that scenario. Um, and I just want to mention too. So if you do delete something, you'll see it go into the trash right here. And uh, it will remain in there and still count against the quota until you empty that out. Yep. So I'll be there for 30 days. Yep. 30 days until, or unless you. Uh, unless you empty it. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is maybe this. Is, yeah, okay. So this is about shared drives to kind of give it an idea of like what files might be going off to. Uh, no. So, so this is this is the yeah, where you don't you don't have many shared drives for all the No. <laughs> so this is just gonna this is gonna show you all the shared drives you have access to. It, it, it's I don't know I, I don't want to say it's you can do that just by clicking on the shared drive folder and go through. But you know if you own a shared drive, manage you know they still take up quite a bit of room. This I'll just say this one. You know this is just showing you where they are. You're almost better off going back to the previous link we were on because. Then you could see if you saw a big file, like I found, um, um, I found some files that I had put in a shared drive that were really big that I'd forgotten about. But by coming here, I could see, well, wait a minute, I didn't do that in my mind. I don't know. And that's why I figured, you know, some of these that have that they're shared will, will show up somewhere else. But it's, it's a little harder to figure out if it's just shared in drive or shared there. You really have to, how do you do that? There's a way to, oh, why don't you just click on one of these? Sure. Uh, just highlight, yeah, just highlight one of the shared ones, the ones with the people next to it. Oh, okay. Uh, I know. It should show, it should show, that should show over on the side where it is. Why don't you, you actually click? Click it? Okay. I'll go back over here and click it. Then that's just opening the file. Yeah, that's right. Trying to open it. Oh, yeah. No, well, that's good. Get. Go back. 
one of these actually can show you can see over on the side what what it actually is so maybe it's the other page the shared drive arm no the one the, the first the very first link we had okay how about if you click on the i for information up there oh sure there we go now i like one of them okay all right. So this shows who has that. So it's a little harder to see on the screen. I don't know if you can go over here and scroll sure. down, but you can see who has access to the file. And then if you go down a little bit further, you can see. I think it should. There it is, right here. So, um, so there must be a drop. There must be a folder by this name, right? Somewhere. So you almost have to go look for that folder, and then there's things in there. So. So you can see a little bit more about where it is. Was a shared drive? It would show you the shared drive name. So again, this is this is sort of like cleaning your 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 drawer at home or your closet or your junk drawer at home. You know, part of it is to you know to go down through, uh, look at these. You know, see where they are. Obviously, if you need it, keep it. Um, yeah. Uh, Next slide. If you've shared it, and you've send things back and forth with people, you know, maybe you want to try to come up with some way to make sure it's only stored in one place. You know, you don't want to have multiple copies of things if possible. You know, that's share drives and or your drive and sharing them with people is um is optimal, I guess at this point. So um, to make sure, let's go to the next page. So there's also and probably even before my drive and shared drives, we all send attachments to each other, um, whatever it is, or we send the attachments to 10 people for whatever it is, you know, we're working on working on something. So um, let's click on that link. So this is just, um, this is some very good overall information in a Google page of how to manage things. But well, let's scroll down to um, the learn, yeah, one right there, but permanent to delete emails in Gmail. You know, this is just this tell, tells you a little bit. Just here's here's an easy way to do a search in Google, and this is going to say, "Show me everything that has an attachment that's larger than ten megabyte." You need if you know to see. So if you, I don't know if you have any attachments on your stuff, but well, mm, if you possibly. maybe copy and paste that. Sure. And go over to your email link. And go to these, click on search button up on the yeah. Yep. So here's the help account that has over 100 emails with 10 megabyte attachments. Okay. And probably if we page down, I'm going to guess, you know. It might be good to keep things that are recent, but I'm going to say to help count most likely majority of this stuff can be thrown away. Um, and that probably will be similar to, you know, our personal accounts or our department accounts. Some of you have personal accounts and departmental accounts that really would be, um, really wouldn't be any difference between the two. So, um, but that's there. And again, if, if it's needed, keep it. If it needs to be shared with people, it might be better off to download it either to a share drive or to, to your my drive and share it with the person and then try to get it out of your email. Um, and so especially, again, if you're working with a committee of 10 people and you're all sharing a 25 megabyte file, all of a sudden, and now you've gone back and forth with, you know, five iterations, you guys can do the math. You know, all of a sudden it's it's taking that up. And, you know, especially using, after you're editing it, it's 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 useless and, you know, to be able to keep the, uh, the latest, so. Um, but on that page, there are a number of other tips and tricks of just the general. Um, there are now people have access, I assume, to the video after so they can get the links easily. Okay. Um, okay. And we can also probably send this little slide back to the people too. Yep. Um, we can find. So, so there's two things that Google offers. So I can tell you, you know, we're dealing, so I've been dealing personally with a number of our alums. And you know, there's two there's two functions to be able to get your files out of Google to go somewhere else. And this is going to be a lot more relevant to um, our alums than 
to people, but if you have personal stuff that you need to move, um, you know, using um, what's called Google Takeout um, is probably going to be a good alternative to do that because you could go to, and that's just, if if we actually had photos, we could do it, you know, maybe click on the takeout at sure. google.com. Takes you to a website for Google and actually will show you a menu of what you deselect all first. This is going to show you every product that Google has, whether we own it or not. Okay. And now you can down, you can download your data in different formats. Um, some have single formats. There's a couple of things that have more, but you could actually go down to drive. Um, or you could go down to photos um, somewhere in here and say, boom, go out to check. You know, I know you don't have any, but check the box okay. anyway. I don't know what the formats are. I haven't really haven't looked. I assume click on formats, it'll tell you what it's gonna offer. Um, so this is what it's gonna do if it's originally this, it's gonna change, it's good. This is how it's gonna download it. Okay, the original format versus um depends on the quality of what I'll so it's going to take it and put it in certain formats. And what it does is it actually takes it and it puts it on a website at Google that it, it sends you the links to. And then you have six days to download it somewhere. And it, 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 it zips them up. Depends how big it is. Um, I can tell you, I was working with alum yesterday who had two terabytes of data. And he did his my drive. He did his drive. And two terabytes, He uh, you can pick the size of the file that it breaks it up to and he picked um 50 gigs and he had 44 zip files mm -hmm. that he was trying to download um and then he called complaining because it would take too long kind of scenario um so um but you could go through just pick a product not all products but the like that one that's going to take all your photos and make a copy of them okay it's not going to remove them Okay, it's going to take them so then you can do something else with them, whether it's um, put it in a Gmail account, put it on your local computer, put it on a remote drive, put, you know, put it in some other account somewhere else. So you'd still have to go back and, and delete delete the um, delete the application. And like I said, that's the same thing I'll say with with any. Um, can you go scroll up to the my drive? I, Trying to remember now. Click why don't you click the box there. Click on the advanced settings. And cancel that one and click on the this the all drive. All right. So then so if you uncheck the box, oh so if you just go in, it's gonna do everything. Otherwise, you could say, just give me Google Docs, give me Google Sheets, um, Google Forms. I don't know what it thinks, but some of these other things are. Because um, if you just do it all, it's going to take everything in your drive and put it there. Now, that might be what, what, if you were leaving the institution, that might be what you might want to do. Um, if you're just trying to get personal stuff, they really don't give you good tools to selectively um, do it. The other thing that's a gotcha with Google is, um, I'll tell you, is why you might want to do something like this to do it, take it and make a second copy of it. Because what you can do is you can actually share it with your own personal Gmail account, but you can't change ownership of the file. So your the other account, so if you delete, so I shared whatever Apple, you know, movie X with my Gmail account. Now I can access it, do whatever, da, 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 da. If I go to back to my work account and delete it, it's gone. I'd have to be in my personal account, make a copy of it at that point in time to do that. So I don't know which is maybe that might be an easier way to do it. But it really depends on the number of the number of things you're moving. So you can cancel that. Sure. So that's one tool that they give. And if you got much to move or a lot to move, um, it might be, but again, it might be just to um do it independently to another Gmail account or just download them to the computer right from, right from your driver from photos. Um, I just want to add one more thing to that, Mike. So when people are doing this, they got to be mindful of how much space they might have on their device. Right. You got to have enough space on wherever you're going to move to. You have, you have to have enough space. 
because you might you might have to uh, put on an external or if you I think it's coming up in the next right. one for the transfer. Sure. No, absolutely. That's the same thing for. So Google also has this other functionality that's called transfer, and it will go right from from one Gmail account to another. But again, it's got that. But I can tell you from personal experience trying it, 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 it just takes every. So I said, oh, I want to move my drive. And I figured, oh, it would give me some opportunities to, to pick some things. No, it took my whole drive and tried to move it to my Gmail, my Gmail account, of course. And your Gmail account, unless you purchase something, you have a 15 megabyte quota or 15 gigabyte quota. Um, I have more than that in my drive. <laughs> Obviously, I'll leave it at that. Um, and so, you know, it failed. But this the gentleman that I was dealing with, actually, that I, the, the example I just gave you about the guy with two terabytes, he decided to, um, after seeing how much time it was going to take in the quarter, he decided to um, buy more buy more additional for his Gmail account. And he actually is using this tool. And he said when they started it, he sent me a note and said it was going to take up to a week to do this. To move it now, again the guy has two terabytes of data so google limit rate limits how much data they will actually move in the background so they're doing something and it's writing it out but this is sort of very similar you, you put your gmail account in it's going to send something to that account you're going to have to put you know send that account to that code you're going to enter the code um and you're just going to go i think you can you can you can differentiate between photos and um drive i think and gmail maybe i think i think those but if you pick one of them that the whole thing goes uh, when i did it it just made another sort of it made another directory so i could see how separate it was because then when i had to go log into my personal gmail account get rid of it all um which then took a lot of time but so that's here i i if you're currently employed i'd say you don't want to do this one at all because that's just going to take everything which means anything work related would move to you don't want to do that so, but I just want to put it here because somebody, th this is, you find this, um, why don't you click on the, the nine dots up here and over here. So, you know, that you can see this um, takeouts is down, depends on your site. It should be here somewhere first. Oh, no, I'm sorry, go to accounts. No accounts. And transfer your account. Yeah, right there. So, I mean, you could wander upon this yourself. That's why I wanted to bring it up. Because you could actually go to this page and, and you could find this here. So um that's I don't know if you have anything you wanted to add. I guess I would say is there any yeah any, any questions? Any questions or do anybody have any questions? Hello. 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 Hi. Yeah, please. What's the limit um for a faculty for the space now? Can you repeat that? We can't hear you well. So please, what's the limit, you know, the uh, storage limit for faculty members now? Storage limit. There is, right, right now, we have done, the only, the only group that we're going to do anything with immediately is our alumni group. Uh, okay. We will have some, some level of discussion, I guess, you know, as the semester rolls on. Um, if we'll, what we'll do or if we'll do, I guess, um, in some ways, you know, it would be good to make sure that people have some understanding. Um, so, you know, there's a quota sometimes could just be a reminder to clean your closet out, but I know we have people that need the storage too. Mm -hmm. So, and we're still trying to work, um, we're still trying to work with the tools that they've given us which I can tell you 12 months ago, none of these tools existed because they didn't have a quota system before. So they're still currently rolling um, things out for us to try to monitor, um, put controls in place, et cetera. Um, so we're still trying to learn some of that, but we've, we've come up with some ways where we could group um, and separate out our students from our faculty, from our staff, from our alumni, from our retirees, from our departmental accounts. And so if we need to do things, we, you know, there might be something for one group versus the other um, size wise. 
and then there's probably going to be, and then there's always going to be a way to get, get an, ex, an, ex, an exception um, that will that we will plan on because we have people who I don't know teach photography. Um, let's just say for an example, or or use videos and things like for whatever reason, whether they're teaching it or just use it as a tool, so that they potentially will have more. But some of the other things we'll have to also do as I say that is trying to look for like some of the names because share drive files are also included, you know, against our quota. <laughs> we have um, some people with um, share drives that you can see, well, this is my, this is my 2018 archive. Um, it's fairly large. Um, Again, I don't know what what the retention need, you know, without having a discussion with that person, what the retention need actually is. But I think these are some things that, you know, as the semester in 2023 roll on that we'll continue to have, um, you know, some level of conversation and, um, you know, trying to understand people's needs and then also to be able to work within the limits that we're given. Because, you know, if you have to work within the sandbox, um, we've all got to participate but i'm going to tell you if people can do things like you know chuck showed you and they had all these 10 megabyte files in there or bigger than 10 megabyte attachments that they really don't need and got rid of well gee i don't remember he had he had 31 gigs he might be down to 20 gigs in in a matter of seconds so other people if everybody can do that kind of thing it might not be it might not be an issue but um so Sort of a long answer to your question, but that's that's still to be explored. Thank you. Any other questions? All right. Well, I thank you for your time. Yep. Thank you. If there's any questions, you can always reach out to me or, or the help desk. Or the help desk. Yep.